and welcome fellow Spartans to my part 16 actually of my Pompey Let's Play for Total War Round 2 on the Imperator Augustus campaign. So we continue and now we're in sight of Massilia, the last stand of Lepidus himself, his personal bodyguard himself is residing there at Massilia and once this city is taken it's all over. It's all over for him. He stands once more for the last time and then that is it that will be the last chapter in an epic story of our clash with lepidus which started all over here in carthage so look at all this purple in their tactical overview beautiful sea of purple so what we've got to do now is this obviously if you said we need to take out lepidus and massalia or Massilia, and we'll do that this episode for sure now we're now now we're now now <laughs> We are now at war with the bad guy again because uh, Octavian, well, what it was, the spy, if you remember, uh, uh, was successful in manipulating one of their champions, Octavian's champions, who was awesome in his rank. He's obviously down there now, here. Um, so he was well worth trying to manipulate. We got him. It was, at, it was sort of called as a declaration of war. We obviously declared it against Octavian. It brought... Bad guy and Gaul into it. Ridiculously, I thought they would have probably sided with me, with me being the superpower in this war, but they're not. They want to still side with Octavian. So we're going to take on Bad guy at Budigala today, which is the city we had that epic clash on in part 14 or 15, sorry, where we, uh, you know, took the city with Gaul and the Bad guy on our side. How times have turned so quickly. Um, so that's that. Octavian are pretty much down and out there. Look at that. They've got the southern boot here. They've got two settlements here. Cosentia and Budisium, which are nearly um, defenseless, to be honest with you. So that should be a problem to take those two cities out. So that's the whole of Octavian's rule in Italy then gone. We'll then move on to the Italian rebels. Take back Rome for the glory of the Republic. We're not having Latin rebels control Roma under any circumstances. So that's definitely going to be something we'll do. Um, and obviously then declare war on Dacia and wipe them out. Uh, and then push in north uh, into uh, parts of northern, northern Italy and uh, southern France. And again, at the same time, finish off Octavian in this part of the land if he is here. Uh, in, in obviously Gaul really it depends if he's there or not he may not he may be gone this could be his last settlement this could be the no most northern settlement he's got but we'll find out um, someone mentioned about probably maybe going to Britannia uh, in this campaign you never know it could actually happen guys so you know don't uh, don't <laughs> strike it off it could actually happen so uh, we'll see what goes on as this campaign progresses but there we are there's a situation with the Tactics, the overview, and where we are going with this campaign. So we've got his army here at Nardbro, which will be the one that will be pushed in to Massilia. Possibly, um, let me go for this, actually go for that. Logistics is going to give us some replenishment rate increase, which is what we need. That's the only thing that's stopping us from sieging Massilia at this moment in time. We'll probably go in with um, Pompey's legion as well. So he personally, A, oversees the downfall of his great enemy, Lepidus, but obviously provides the support as well to make sure we do win that siege convincingly. Uh, we'll go for him to be a great leader again. Look at that. Another th three experience ranked for recruits. So that's the maximum we can go for him in that skill. We probably need to do... A, we do need to recruit this army, actually. Oh my god, and the gold, the gold chevrons and experience now. Oh my god, this is the best army I've ever had on Rome 2 on my Let's Plays. This is awesome. So let's recruit some of these bad boys. So we've got three first cohort. We don't want to recruit any more of them. We'll go for a couple of legionaries, another Velite unit, and a legionary cavalry as well to make that a full 20-stack army there. Um, we'll get rid of this field of Mars, as we've already got... Uh, a barracks there and we're obviously we're getting rid of that slump or oh, no we're not now we are again no we're not now we are there we go so that's getting rid of that slump down here this army is still recruiting as we're going to be using this third legion across over here in the uh, the north eastern parts of the map as we push on in that frontier so we'll use these guys especially with them having ballista recruited so they are going to be used very soon and this army is going to attack buddy gallo over there and hopefully as well, once this Temple of Minevira has been completed, that should iron out all the public order issues we've got in this province of Espana. 
But everyone else, everywhere else, I should say, is, is looking after itself, really. It's got, it's got no problems at all. Everything's nice and calm for the moment. Now, talking about that, that could be soon be changed with our civil war issues. But we haven't got any at the moment. We are supreme, holding the balance of power, but without threatening anyone. And that is the key at this moment in time. We're threatening no one. We're just standing strong and we're not going too far too soon. So I need to make sure that this general... Structus is getting involved in battles, winning battles, obtaining gravitas, gravitas to counterbalance our 63% of our influence on the court, in the Senate, I should say, because we need to make sure it doesn't go below that uh, for them. You know, 37% is the minimum I want to go for with the other families. We probably can deal with it going up to about 40%. So this army, this general here, this is him, Structus, he needs to be used as soon as possible. So we we'll bring him up into the northern parts there and then get him into some battles to make sure his gravitas is starting to uh, push up now these settlements here which were a hot seat of civil wars and rebellions i should say is nice and calm now everything's just looking at itself beautifully no problems at all here making me a lot of money and apart from that just suddenly it's just looking after themselves as i say so yeah giving me no headache at all in africa anymore so that's great they're converting themselves to the Latin way of life. This army needs to bolster its ranks as well, as this will be the army that will go into southern Italy and to uh, take on Octavian at Consentia and uh, Brundisium, which has also got a rebellion here. Latin rebels are completely going berserk in Italy at the moment. God's sake, what has Octavian done to get so much unrest in Italy? What's he done to the place? I thought, I thought Octavian was supposed to find Rome brick and leave it marble, but he's, I think he's doing the opposite at the moment. <laughs> Jesus. Right, let's end the turn. When we're going. See what happens during the end turn phase. Oh, he's using his champion against the Latin rebels. He's, it seems to have worked. But they're still rebelling. Has Octavian got any armies left? He's got a settlement in Genua, Genua, though, so we probably need to go and take that once we've taken Massilia. Maybe it, that could be a good idea. We could attack Italia from both both fronts. We can go from the south and from the north and box him in and hit him at Roma on both sides. That would be a good idea. I like that. And, of course, and our next target will be, after all this, will be, probably be Mark Antony. Who the hell? What? Who, what, and why? So, Poison Provisions... The nerve. Oh, we search complete though. Infamy! Infamy! They've all got it infamy! Right, what's this all about? Infamy. A young boy with an uncanny resemblance to a member of your family has appeared. He claims to be the man's son and by your by the son of by the daughter of another patrician family, blah blah blah. Adopt him. Every time it works and we gain a general, so we'll do that. Right, this army is ready. It's slightly not fully replenished, but it's ready. It's ready to go in. Now, Pompey's going to lead this one. No, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, he's going to go in. Oh, no, he can't. He's actually not in range to attack this turn. So, he's going to have to be the second legion that leads the battle then. So, we'll encircle it for a second. Continue it. There's a Latin rebellion here as well. So, they could maybe help in the battle, could they? Or probably not. Ah, uh, this guy here, look at this. Now, I just wanted to say this to you. This guy, this guy is, is actually um, modelled on an actual human. Uh, I don't know if you know, but a gentleman called James. I don't know his surname, unfortunately. But uh, he, unfortunately, uh, passed away to cancel before this game came out. And they actually, Creative Assembly, got him into the studios before the game was released. And he actually got to play the game first hand before he unfortunately passed and they also modeled him into the game which was just awesome a nice touch by ca it's not something i've shown you before because i don't think we've seen him as an actual playable general on any of my campaigns up to date i've seen him on my personal campaigns but not on my let's plays so if you didn't know that that is a little bit of a fact for you there that uh, ca did and i thought it was a nice this is a nice touch by them to do that really so uh, yeah Okay, right, that's fine. This general here, it's still does plus two for the moment because the temple's not finished off. It will be, though, next turn. We'll get a auditorium there as well to really bolster the uh, 
the public order and we're gonna oh no we we were gonna go for level three there but minus three is gonna be possibly too much to uh, endure at the moment in public order and then again that would be minus four with a fishmonger we can't really deal with that but if we go for the gladiator school that will put to bed any problems of uh, public order and we can unlock spearmen and gladiators which we would, would like to have so we're going to go for that we're going to go for that and construction has been completed so we've got construction tier one finished off so that's minus three building construction costs Excellent. So we'll go for this one because it unlocks a lot of civil architecture. So we'll definitely go for that one. Uh, this is minus one. Why? 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 Cultural differences. Right, okay. We'll leave that for the moment, actually, because uh, we can deal with that later on down the line. Okay, this army here. Oh, okay. What's it, the situation then? Auto resolve is too that too little. We can't do that. Continue the siege then. Let's hire some mercenaries. Done. So that will help that. Okay, guys. So this is it. I am going to continue this Let's Play episode until both those settlements are taken because I've got to fight them both. A because that one the auto resolve is below 80%, so we need to fight that one personally, the 80% rule, if it's less than 80, we have to fight it, so that's going to have to be done, and this one, I want to see the downfall of Lepidus personally, you probably want to see it as well guys, so we'll do that, so both of these sieges will be done in this part today, until they are done, we're not finishing this episode off, okay guys, so uh, if it was a live stream, I'd say to you right now, which one do you want to go for, but unfortunately I can't do that, but I probably know what you're going to say. Go for Burdigala first, and then we'll get Massilia done after that, um, and leave that to the climatic battle. It's like in a film, isn't it? The great battles, the great, you know, crescendos of the, the battle, it, it, the, the film is done at the end where you have the epic clash. So obviously that will be Massilia. So we'll do that uh, as the last battle. Trouble populace. Something vexes thee. Well, it's fine for the moment. If we have some slums there, we'll have to deal with it. Actually, no, no, you know what, you know what, we're going to have to unfortunately abandon the uh, Gladiator School until next turn, we're going to have to recruit into this, or build into this uh, region as we will have slums again, we don't want to incur that at all, so we need to go for a temple, and we'll go for, we'll go for a villa, because we do need some food as well, okay, so, siege number one, oh, it's actually, is it actually more in our favour now? I know it's just below 80% still, so let's fight it. And teach the Baal guy a lesson. To let them know who they actually should have sided with in this war against Octavian. And as the great knight in Indiana Jones said at the end of the last crusade, they chose poorly. <laughs> I love that line in that thing. When they try, he tries to, Donovan tries to, I'm sure you've seen the scene when Walter Donovan tries to uh, choose the correct Holy Grail. He doesn't and he basically disintegrates in front of everyone. And then the only thing that happens after that, the night goes, he chose poorly. <laughs> this is a great line, it's fantastic. Right, Galliot Warriors, they're going to go in obviously to the wall. As we've always said before, the dead, they cast nothing. And the mercenaries will cost me nothing. Well, they will, because I've already paid for them, but you know what I mean. The upkeep won't cost me anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that unit in, because 98, 93 units on that lad is too little. So we'll bring this army, this, sorry, this legionary unit across to man, man the ladders, because they'll be more effective in taking the, the walls, basically. As quickly as you can. So what we'll do is we'll take the walls. They've got some skirmishers positioned to uh, try and bring me some damage, but hopefully my ladders will protect them. And then once we've got and taken the walls, we'll then try and take the gatehouse down and uh, allow, allow our light horse to get in there. Let's bring our Valites forward, actually, because they need to provide in a bit some fire cover 
Come on, come on, come on. Right, drop this drop shit drop the siege equipment. Go back over here. Pick it up and go, 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 go. Alright, the Gaddit Warriors are in. They're at the they're at the walls nearly. Get there before the bloody ladders burn. Okay. Effectively they are using Flaming Shot, which is obviously gonna a, try and bring the ladders down, but at the same time, try and affect them well, which is clever. AI, AI nicely done there. But we are now have approached the ladder, so we've now approached the walls, so this should be all over once we've got uh, into the city. Right, these guys are ready, so bring them forward now. Fleet aids, concentrate on those Calic skirmishers over on the left, please, and these in the centre here. Try not hit your own men because it probably will happen if you don't uh, aim properly. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Get up the walls. Get up the. Whoa, no, 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 no. Get up the ladders, please, you silly man. Thank you. Uh, this isn't working. The Vlites are going to hit their own men here. No. Negative. Stop that. Wait a second. Let's get a more, more of a foothold into the into the city first. You're not listening to me. I said to you, stop firing. Is it because you got fire at will on? You haven't got fire at will on, so just stop firing. Thank you. Okay, we've taken out those skirmishers on the left, so now it will allow us to uh, to flank around the back of the and the rear of the um, warriors here. Go in there. We do need those legionaries to come in quickly in a second. We've got spear brothers won't do any good. I don't, we'll probably we'll do okay because we've got swords and they've got the uh, the spears. So we'll probably have to get into the mix of them actually. We should be okay actually against them. Should be. And I do stress the word should. Right, we need a few more legionaries to come across to assist with this one. Uh, where are they? There they are, come across. Thank you. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. We're not losing anything. We're, we're keeping intact. That's the main thing. We're holding our own. And here come the legionaries. They're going to hopefully climb the wall without any resistance. Hit these um, spear brothers in the back here. That will really put the crappers up them. And then we should be in a much stronger position. Ah, the Gallic warriors are starting to wear. Uh, Get a little bit nervous now. Okay, okay, we've got the walls here. Here come the supporting legionaries now. So uh, if you could decide which ladders you're going to take and get up them. Okay. And essentially then we need to take out these uh, arrow towers because they're going to be firing those flaming shots in at them at us, which you can see there. Okay, wait, we'll wait till everyone's gone to the ladders yet, until we go for the attack. Go, 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 go. Any more? Come on! Need you there now. Good lads, good lads, good lads. Right, three, a two... One, and charge! And throw your peeler as well. You throw them then. Oh, yeah! Oh! Ho, ho, that was devastating. Well done. So we've got them from the back now as well. Excellent. So they're now wavering immediately. That's now helping massively to the morale of the existing units already up there. Push in, push in, push in. Good, 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 good. Light horse, get yourselves ready because you will be going into the gatehouse once we've captured it. So get yourselves ready over there. These guys can just relax. Actually, they don't need to be. I don't think. Hopefully, not using this battle. We should be alright without them. Okay, pull out a second. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Okay, that's fine. The reason why I'm going to go for another charge against you, but I'm going to go for these guys because that gully warriors are starting to. Uh, Again, panic a bit. So if you could provide some support. 
That will then start to shake them. That's good. So that should increase their morale in a minute. Okay, lovely. They've broken. Pull back. That's as indeed. So their morale's gone right back up. So speed will just go for those guys. Another throw of Pilar. They're wavering. Now they're, they're panicking because they realise they're being uh, surrounded. Excellent. Right, go for these guys now. Push through. Give them a throw again. In the market stalls or the tents. Oh, hang on, we haven't taken these out yet. Oh no. Don't tell me that. They're shaking though, so they should go in a second. Okay, let's bring this unit around and this unit around the side. Break off, thank you. One go that way, intercept those Levy Freeman, and the other ones go around the back here to pin these Spear Brothers down. Where are you going, guys? Seriously, I don't want you to go over that way. Oh, God, that must be a Gallic Warriors gone. Well, never mind. I swear I have to keep them up going. I won't say I want to keep them intact anymore. The upkeep of them will be. No more. Oh god, we're suffering from it and more wavering. Come on guys, let's hold our hold our own here. Oh good. Start to fire on the enemy then please. This little skirmish there. Oh god they well, well done. Through the neck. Well played. Pull through and get in there. We're doing okay. I know we've, we've obviously lost a whole unit of mercenaries. It doesn't matter really. And uh, we are suffering from you know casualties already before even before the battle was started. So we're okay. We're doing all right here. It depends how much is left. Oh, Mark Strong has just said it to us. But it depends how much is left in the centre. I mean, we've got the sacred tree here. They're probably protecting the sacred tree of the bow guy here. So they're probably re residing here. Uh, you know, in terms of, you know, this could be, this could be, for we you know, it could be Treebeard from Lord of the Rings, we don't know that, it could be an Ent, uh, an ancient tree, so, you know, they're probably going to try and protect that with everything they've got, <laughs> so, uh, we'll see, okay, let's just, let's just branch off, oh, god, you get that branch off tree, oh my god, I'm on fire today, let's branch off with this uh, unit to take and neutralise the gatehouse, once we've done that, we can then get the, cut, the horse in to, uh, to flank around. The rest of the army goes straight on down here. Right, we've got Levy Freeman there. Right, neutralise, neutralise, neutralise the gatehouse. Thank you. So it shouldn't be taking too long. Hopefully they won't waver in the meantime. They probably won't. They'll probably take some casualties though. That's the only problem. Okay, get in there, get in there, engage, push in, push in, give them nothing, pin them down at least until the gatehouse is ours, which will then give us time for the light horse to come around and sweep around this way. What we'll do is bring him in, branch off to the right, go back and over there, and then boom, right in the rear we, we shall go. We need to go now, it's nearly ours, so let's bring in the light horse now, so they can go in immediately. See, these guys, these are actually Balgai uh, units in terms of who they are. But they know, they realise that loyalty has to lie with Pompey. He is the major faction or the major major power in this, this, this war. So these mercenaries have known this from the start and have sided with the great Pompey. They've chosen wisely. So yes, this is good to see these uh, mercenaries fighting for the true cause. And the true victor of this this war. Okay, light horse, go around the side. That's it. Go over here. No, 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 no. Go, keep, keep, keep don't going this way. Keep going this way. That's it. Here we go. So they're all clumped in there nicely. So we'll just completely charge them on the rear here. 
And they're not going to be shot cavalry, we know that, but they're going to provide some kick. Go, 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 go. Build momentum as you charge. Go that way. You go that way. Oh, this is going to hit him hard now. General's starting to panic immediately. That's causing him to panic. Oh, he's actually steadied himself a little bit now. Right. Pull out. We'll go for the charge again. Okay, regroup, regroup, regroup. I don't think we lost many units there. Go again. Oh, beautiful. Panic, panic, panic. In fact, we're panicking in a bit. Which was, oh, Gannet Warriors are starting to waver again. But this is now really panicking them. They're wavering from two. General's starting to be shaken. Oh, so you know, there's the unit behind him. Is general steady? But panic is starting to set in now. This is the main thing. So it could be a catalyst now to finish this battle off. And everything is going. Yeah, they're all panicking. It's all over. It's all over, guys. Victory is ours. Close victory. Mm, okay, yeah, I lost quite a few men. I lost a lot of those Gallic warriors, unfortunately. But we did okay. We've taken the city. We've shown the bad guy not to declare war on me again because this is what the result will be. They're probably going to fall anyway. I'll probably wipe them out. But uh, they should have chosen better. They'll probably sue for peace, maybe. That could be interesting. Okay, so we'll have, to, we'll have to raise the settlement because obviously the culture is completely different, so we won't benefit from their buildings. So we'll go for an aqueduct. We'll go for a consecrated ground. And we'll go for a public forum. Have we got enough money to convert this to our port? We have. Convert this. And we have. Wonderful. So that's... Siege number one down. Over to siege number two. Fight. Let's do this. Now, again, usual circumstances. This will be an auto-resolve. But with this one today, this is it. This is the final stand. Um, he's, he's desperate. Now, look at him. He's got Skutari in his army. He's, he's hired mercenaries. He's had to offer out the coin to get the, the numbers in here. He's got Vigilates, which are pretty poor as well. So this is going to be this is going to be pretty easy. So, Ballista, line up here. Ideally, what I want you to do is go for one, go for the general, sorry, for the gatehouse. Especially with having oil, we need to take it down. And then the second, we'll go for another uh, hole in the wall there. So, we've got two inlets to funnel our troops in. So, I was told that should be something you should try and do in these sieges. to try and get at least two gaps in the, uh, the defending walls. Okay, great. So, let's try and take the walls now. As well as taking the gatehouse down. Okay. Which one's not moving? Oh god, who just started, Mark? Give us a chance. There we go. Right, okay, the four ladders ready. Okay, so he's Pompey's Legion then, right. And there's a unit. What's this fleet over here, this, this boat coming in? Ah, it's a veteran and legionary unit. Right, okay, we'll have to... We'll use our two gold units to give them a nice welcome party with a unit of elites just behind. Group down to group seven, just so they're grouped together. Elites just behind, so that's them sorted out. Okay, how are we doing over here? We're starting the approach. What have they got on the walls? Just Vigiles, which we thought. Velites. Mercenary Scutari. Yeah, okay, fair enough. How are we doing? 94%. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Some of the levies go down with the wall. Wonderful. Okay, so that's excellent. So you can help now with the downfall of this gatehouse. I want it destroyed. I want it down. So 
This is our moment of triumph today, guys. Come on. This must be done. This must be done today. Lepidus must fall. Wherever he is, he must be near the temple, probably. Praying to the gods of Jupiter. But it's all in vain. Pompey is here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wonderful. And they've also got... Uh, hang on, they're not fully damaged yet. So that means they could still probably use the uh, the oil. So we need to make sure that the damage is fully there to the gatehouse as opposed to just to the actual gates themselves. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, one more. One more should do it. Come on, especially with those men on the top of the wall there. Oh, yes, again. Boom. Right, we've engaged. We've gone to the wall now. How are we doing over here? Are we moving? Are we moving? Are we, are we getting here? No. Bloody hell. Oh, hang on. They've beached. They've beached. Right, line up. Line up. God, can you imagine that? These are new recruits to the army and already gold chevron units. The most experienced units in the game so far in any of our armies and they're actually new recruits. That just shows the power of Pompey's legion now. It's just ridiculous. No, come out. Come back. Actually, no, don't, don't go around. Go around the back of them. Okay, lovely. Let's sit. Carry on going around. Okay, line yourselves up there. Lites, you're probably not going to be able to hit anyone, so we'll probably just halt your command for a second. Right, go, 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 go. Throw the pillar, please throw the pillar. No. Okay, anyway, we've engaged, that's the main thing. Oh, looks like there's wavering on the walls. Awesome. Right, let's move in the main troops now. Okay, cavalry need to move in as well. Okay, we're already over here nearly. But the thing is, we'll probably we're probably going to come around this way actually. So, come on, come over here. See what with the general. What? Where? Where? What? You what? Right, we've, we've taken the walls. Let's go down and take those mercenary Scutari out. Come on. There's work still to be done here, guys. Let's get these guys into the city. Okay, put this copy back over there. Blisters, have you finished now? You have. Well done. Thank you for your contribution. You've done fantastically as always. Okay. We've got the gate house. We're in, we're in, we're in. Where is he? Where are you, Lepidus? Show your face. Oh, hello. A couple of other units have beached. Oh, God, levies, Jesus. Right. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, legionaries as well. No, don't go down that way because that 
tower is captured by Lepis. We can't take it back. Or we probably could if we position ourselves at the bottom. But oh, anyway, now we'll go that way actually because if we go this way, we're going to incur some more towers as we go down this walkway. So we'll probably go this way to try and uh, pin them down. Who's resisting us here? The Skutari, they are not bad. I tell you what, mercenaries, they are pretty badass. Okay, pull through. Pull through again. Bloody fall, because I've got, I've got to take you down now. Come on. Let's put them around the side here. Where are they? These, oh, they're on the back, are they? Okay. Put them around that way. Come on, come on, come on. We'll bring a cavalry in now, actually, as well, because we could do with them starting to cause some problems with the remaining forces wherever they will be we'll use them as a flanking force obviously right we've finally taken down those uh Shotari on the walls so bring them down and they are starting to uh, drop now a little bit so this is excellent The city is ours nearly, look at that. We're flooding in now with the horse. Brilliant. Horse, get yourself ready. Okay, put them over there to neutralize that uh, arrow tower. Okay, guys, this is it. Bring the cavalry over there. No, no, no. Well, you got to go that way now, aren't you, anyway? So you may as well just quickly ride through if you can and not to avoid that many casualties. If you can try and avoid that, would be great. They're wavering anyway, so they're pretty much pointless anymore, those levies. I don't know where the hell these guys are. Okay, what I will do just to not bore you anymore, we'll just fast forward. Who the hell's wavering? No oh, bloody hell, Valitis, what have you done? Oh my god, I didn't realise. Oh, that's awful. Sorry, guys. That is just awful. These need to bring in, actually. These need to bring these guys in, the auxiliary bowmen. Sorry, but he says, I completely forgot about you. And look at that. You've now nearly been killed and taken out. Okay. They've got to be, they've got to be sitting in here. They've got to be. They've got to, got to, got to, got to be. Oh, hello, hello. Play, hit that play button. Okay, let's go for these vigilants, push out with those units to do that. Oh, we've got some engagement here. We're against legionaries, right? Okay, we can go for a charge against them with our cavalry. Should be something we can take down, or so it'll be a unit eventually we can take down. Down from the stairs, they threw. Beautiful. Still, Lepidus is elusive in all of this. But they're going to fight for everything they've got here. This is their last stand. You know, this is it. 
The last stand of Lepidus. Elites, the first cohort. Right, okay. Let's get these bloody vigilates finished off. Pull these guys out. Go down here, then. doing here we're doing okay yeah they, they are standing but again if we just try and get round the back of them because our legion recovery is still holding as well which is great we do need to get the melee infantry in there to finish them off to be honest with you take them around this way in fact to do that do so we'll take the melee cavalry we've got the legion recovery from this one take them around the back that should then sort them out Broken. Right. Okay. Now, 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 now. Go. Go, 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 go. Push, push, push. Oh, there's a unit here. Pitch it for Lites. Right. Then nothing to worry about. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do not get embroiled with the Lites, guys. Come on. Okay, what are we going to see down here? This could be where... Ah, this is him. This is the man himself. Lepidus is here. Marcus Lepidus, where is he? Your final moments are upon you, my friend. Let's do it. Let's push in. Take the general down. Take him down. Oh, we've got to take him down with first cohort as well. Yes. Definitely need them. You'll probably no doubt try and escape and flee. Fair enough. We've got these surrounded, surely this should go soon. Okay, I'll bring them round over here. If we can. Quite a lot of units here, actually, as we thought there would be in the town centre. Some of them are plebs, though, so we didn't really worry about them. But Lepidus is going, he's going. Where is he? There he is. I want to watch this personally now. I want to see this man go. Are you the man to do it? Are you the legionary to do it? You're having a good go. Or oh, maybe not. Come on! He must die in this battle today! Once these guys have finished off these uh, legionaries here, then it will be all, and all over once we flank around the back of these guys. Right, Valites, let's finish those guys off, these Valites, because they are trying to... Uh, and no, you mate. I can't wait for much any longer. I need to take some of these cavalry units over here to uh, hit him in the back now. If he can get through, that is. The archers can't get in, can they? Damn it. Could go this way instead. Okay, well done for regrouping. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go for the man himself. Give a leopard. He's only got four units left. He's trying to make an escape. You can see that. Oh! 
I thought he was going to go then. He's only left him left now. Look at him, the coward. Don't let him escape. Don't let him escape. No, go for him, go for him, go for him. Look, he's trying to escape the, skit the city. I can't believe it, the coward. Oh, so some cavalry coming up this way to come try and box him off. He is crapping himself now. Is it charge him, charge him, charge him? Oh, you've got him pinned now. This should be it. See how our towers has taken one of our men out. Where is he? Have you taken him? Have you killed him? I can't see him, so he must have gone. He usually comes up saying we've killed the general, but he didn't say that. Oh, God. Oh, there he is. There he is. Lepidus has fallen. Facing the dirt. It's all over. It's all over. Um, who's left then? Oh, there's one unit here, these legionaries. They don't think they've got the news yet that uh, the general's been killed. However, they are veterans, so they're going to fight to the last man, obviously. They wouldn't be veterans if they weren't. Okay. The victory point. Right. Let's lose the let, let, let's let the enemy lose the bloody battle as well. Come on, let's get them to get these unit of legionaries to hit them in the back. Fast forward again. Here we go. Wavering, 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 wavering. Gone. Decisive victory. Yes. God, I lost quite a lot of men though. One thousand and seventy-eight men. <clears throat> Could have done a bit better, I think, but hey. Oh my god. We lost loads to friendly fire. Oh my god, that's awful. Sorry, guys. That was really bad. But anyway, that is overshadowed by the man himself being killed. The faction being destroyed. Let's occupy the lands. The fleet has been able to disperse. I know it hasn't. It's been destroyed, and that is it. Lepidus has fallen the almighty Pompey right ladies and gentlemen I shall wrap it up here you have seen it there 48 minutes of pure epicness and we have finally finally achieved our first objective of the first unit or first faction of the triumvirate to fall Lepidus himself so thank you for watching guys please comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed this epic epic episode Please drop it a like, it means a lot to me, as always. But until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now, saying farewell!